Hi everybody! Today let's learn together how to use the USB OTG interface introduced by Esper Sif in the ESP32 S2 chip with Arduino. A disclaimer, what we will see today is still very experimental and based on contributions outside the framework. Everything works at the moment I'm recording, but it is possible that in the coming months there will be a more official integration. That said, let's get started! To follow this tutorial, we need a development board based on the ESP32 S2 chip. I am using this LiliGo ESP32 S2 War. The board houses a USB to serial conversion chip, the CH340C, and a single USB connector. Thanks to these DIP switches, we can decide whether to connect the USB connector to the external USB to serial chip or directly to the ESP32 one. Other development boards adopted different solutions. For example, the Nano ESP32 S2 has two different USB connectors. Finally, there are boards that do not have a USB connector dedicated to the ESP32 chip, and it is therefore necessary to connect it externally to pins 19 and 20, as explained in the official guide. Let's start with a fresh installation of the latest version of the Arduino IDE. You will also need a Git client, which can be downloaded from the official website. Open the IDE installation folder and, inside the hardware folder, create a folder named Espersif. Inside it, then create a folder named ESP32. Now open a git shell and change the path to the ESP32 folder you've just created. Use the git clone command to create a local copy of the Arduino ESP32 repository. Don't worry, I will leave all the commands in the description, so you can just copy and paste them. Wait for the process to finish. At the moment, we are using the branch master, but the developments for the ESP32S2 chip are in a dedicated branch. Therefore, use the git checkout command to switch to the ESP32S2 branch. Complete the setup by initializing the submodules. We must now download the compiler and the programming utilities. For this, open the tools folder and run get.exe. This process will also take a few minutes. At the end, the development environment is ready. Let's now download the latest version of the ESP Teen USB library from GitHub. Then extract the archive inside the libraries folder. You are now ready to compile some examples. Launch the IDE and open the CDC example, which emulates a serial port. Thank you. 
select the correct board and also the serial port the board is connected to. Now try to compile the sketch. As you can see, you get an error. This is because the library has not been updated with the new include paths. Open the ESPTINIUSB.CPP file and add the path device in this include. Do the same for the USB descriptors.cpp file. Now you are able to compile the sketch and upload it to the board. Disconnect the board from the computer, modify the position of the switches to give control of the USB connector to the ESP32 chip, then connect the board again. As you can see, the board is detected as ESP32S2 Arduino device. The corresponding serial port is also added, in my case COM4. Let's try another example, the one called MSC, which implements a mass storage device. To be able to use it with my board, which does not have an additional RAM chip, I have to slightly modify the code. I have to take the content of the mscdisk.c file from the official TinyUSB repository and replace it in my sketch. Then I need to comment the first include. And in the setup, the call to init disk function. I am now ready to compile and upload. Again, I remove the card from the computer, change the position of the switches, and reconnect it. As you can see, Windows automatically opens the content of the mass storage device. And if I open the README file, I can verify that its content is the one present in the sketch. To summarize, the availability of a USB library for the ESP32 S2 chip opens up many possibilities. In this video I showed you a couple of examples. Try to open and modify the other available as well. Thanks for watching. See you at the next tutorial.